finally, 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 you're back with another Dorka Battle video. So, of course, um, yeah, no be stupid today. Can't do that. So, yeah, can't do that the third time. So, yeah, we did get some new news for um, Goba right now. I'm back up and got some good energy. I did take a break from recording, um, the last couple of days for like a day in time from this recording. Um, because I don't want to go upload this video. I did take a break because, oh boy, I was tired. I can't explain it right now. Why is it a book like, like, Last three or four or five videos always been a bug near me, so I'm sorry if I get distracted, but um did take a break because I've been recording really late at night, got some sleep, it was amazing, it was great. I just I am probably gonna highly take a break. Um but definitely like videos in general because I'm just I'm like no actually I should take a break because um for Global we'll probably know the next confession unit probably next week maybe or every GP of course is gonna help until the anniversary, so this will probably be good for for this weekend coming up. Um again though, um okay. Because uh, I know the last thing that got announced, I have the video done, I believe, right now. So I have the video done. Um, I'll probably upload that like, again like a day later or whatever. Um, again, um, I only have a countdown for JP right now for their, their anniversary. And there's a lot of stuff going on right now. So, of course, like I said, like I said, like I said. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so Goba did hit, hit number one for Jin's banner. Not surprised, honestly. I did say I wasn't going to be surprised when hit number one because for Goba right now, we're not going to get the anniversary until like July, and a lot of people are still debating all the banners to summon on and stuff like that. So, again, I like, to, I like to pull up all the banners just in case. So, yeah, like I said previously, though, um, you don't need to like really give me a fix my hair up a little bit. Um, um, but yeah, like I said recently, though, you don't really need to like, you know, badly, badly, badly turn on these banners because, um, I think it's a couple of bits, yeah. And you only like badly, badly, badly turn on these banners because, like, there really is no point. Like, you don't need to go hard for LR banners anyway, though. But a lot of people did something for Jiren. I think for Top Grossing, how to hit Top Grossing, I think we had to, um, we had to buy stones and get some banners up, I believe. I think Truth specified that. I don't know. It's not, like, I'm not 100% confirming. Actually, I'm gonna come up a little bit. I'm moving up a little bit more. Um, yeah, um, I don't know. They didn't really, they don't really like, you know, from number one, we already know how I was gonna hit number one because, um, every country we hit, we get number one. They like get absolute rewards. Um, again, last couple of times, Global has been really good. Uh, like, Gohan, I'm um, good. Jared did good. Again, Jamie hasn't hit top grossing in a really long time before Gohan's banner, so, um, yeah. Again, they were, I think, they, yeah, they, hit, they didn't hit number one for Bojack. They hit number one for, number one for Pike, number one for Pike on. Makes sense because he is the same half, half the time, so. Yeah, um, so like I said, Global hitting number one is actually really good though, of course, like I said. Um, I'm glad that today hit number one. It makes sense to talk about that, of course, because everybody did something for Jiren. I did say go ahead and sew it on him. You need to wait for like 6,000 months for Global, because, yeah, sometimes we're now for Global, we're gonna, um, try to think of it. We should, I can't think of it right now. For, again, like for Global, um, this anniversary won't be until like July, so yeah, enough time to summon, yeah, enough time to see what Jones. Um, I suppose maybe, maybe around like, um, you know, because we want to get a global first because we only have like a couple of duck fests left before we hit like four or five with JP and stuff like that. And they gotta wait like a month to do that. I love if we can go Super Saiyan for Gogeta could be next. I thought he's gonna end up saving, saving him for Saiyan Day, maybe. I honestly say that, but Gobo and JP are gonna have a first. They had it last year. I think J Gobo got Trimming Vegeta, then like, I think like a week later they got it for JP. Um, again, Gobo and JP they kind of like just kind of show off the same thing. So yeah, I think this year we'll probably get another Saiyan Day um, unit. So go yeah, again, Gobo first always. They don't really hurt Gobo, but it can mess up, you know, schedule. Because I feel like, oh yeah, LR movie go on in the Bojang movie, Hypersonic. He, 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 he missed the Gobo schedule. I mean, it doesn't really matter though, because that was a separate celebration. It wasn't like during the project celebration, it was something completely different. So yeah, a lot of people always kind of specify and go on that. So yeah. Um, like I said though, LR Jiren, um, he did number one Gobo. We got seven stones. Again, for every country, we get number one stone. We only get stones. Um, we did have last, uh, um, one down here. Let's go down. Um, yeah, I believe Go, yeah, because again, we got seven stones, because guess what? We hit France. Um, like I said, it is, it is confirmed for every one country we hit. I think ever since STR Cooler came out, it is always going to be confirmed. We always hit number one in the App Store because of, um, just, um, one country. So yeah, again, China could hit number one, and we could have got seven stones. Um, again, for example, like I said, if we hit Luxembourg and France at the same time, it would have been, like, we would have gotten more stones. Like, we would have got, like, 14 or, like, um... 28 or 24 after that point, so that's how it kind of works for number one to ask for rewards. A lot of people always get that kind of confused. I kind of get it too as well. Again, this happens a lot, so I kind of get it um, sometimes. Um, so yeah, like I said, pretty simple, pretty easy for number one in the App Store rewards time around. Really, again, simple, easy, we always hit number one for all this type of thing. So yeah, um, like I said, for, um, I think this was Jiren. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about Jiren. So yeah, Jiren actually is really good though. Um, I never really kind of specify or talk about the units because it's like the third time I think um, I've been talking about him. For Global specifically, no, this is like the second time I went over for Jaren. So yeah. 
Um, overall, though, he's a really good LR. He's disgusting. He's amazing, I guess. Um, he brings the new Universe 11 category, which is feel, feels really limited, but they want you, I guess, to use the SSR versions like Topo and Dispo for the UZA that just got um, up for Global. I think I got that video done already. I mean, I do the videos really late at night, so that's probably why I'm so tired now. So, yeah, just getting out of them, but probably get their own specific stuff like that, honestly. Um, you know, just take a break. Not from uploading on YouTube. I never take a break from uploading for YouTube because we got too much for that. Um, I'm mean, just doing your videos in general because I got a couple on it. No, because Global, no, JD gonna be busy in a couple of weeks because the anniversary and the month where it's gonna the units and the whole month of February will just be probably JP because I'm gonna go for how to get like you know the film item. No, the film items actually they're already in the game, so I don't really need to go with that. Um so yeah, again, discussing discussing LR gives a lot of attack. Um again, lower attack defense stun is actually really good for him too. Um because I think you know no okay no no not something for him. Specifically, I know when the enemy is attacked down, well, he has attack down or defense down status. They, he does do a crit, which is actually really good. Um, the more you get hit, the more you can um, have a higher chance of getting his passive off. That was active skill, because the more you get hit with Jerry, the more higher chance you have for his active skill to go off. So it's going to be really good for him. He's going to be picked up against all types again. Once that pretty much kind of slows into his, um, no, actually no, attacks picked up against all types when, okay, so not only when your opponent's attack status, yeah. So I guess it applies, I don't know if it applies like as soon as they, you know, like, if there's ever, like, you have, like, a Stiago on rotation, he can lower his attack and defense because he does do that for a super attack effect. Um, and he, you, I don't know if you can do that, get your attack to go then. Like, get passive, then when you have, like, picked up against all types. It's kind of like Kaioken Blue Goku's, I want to say, not, no, it isn't, because, um, with him, the STR Kaioken Blue Goku to get, like, his farewell game and getting effective against all types. We can't get that down when it be feel like it, like, if we heal up a little bit, um, he'll, he can kill that passive, half that passive will be gone, but you can also, you can choose to, I don't know, use it whenever you feel like it, or, you know, use the extra skill whenever you feel like it, because it's, um, effective, it's attack more and more and more, and, it was up more in the long run. I go for additional full crit. Did I even decide that yet? I don't know. But during the specifically, I'd probably say go for just no, because you're going to maximize that crit gaming attack down status. Again, a lot of people are going to run him through with their Goku net, which also though, does make sense, so of course, too. Like I said, um, pretty simple for that. Um, so yeah, um, again, like I said, during the stuff like that, of course, can be some simple, super easy. It's all that, so yeah. Um, yeah, again, I went over him why he's disgusting, he's good. Is he worth the 7 4? He is, but I'd probably say his banner overall isn't really that good. Um, because again, if you really only care, oh yeah, this banner art actually looks really nice and clean. It looks really, really amazing. Um, but like I said, Virginia, if you, if you really only care about Jiren, you're probably only getting like LR coins, because you know, with these LR banners, you get yellow coins and you get able to get LRs. And that's, if you really care about that type of thing, if you want something for Jiren, I say, again, you can if you want to. I probably highly wouldn't recommend it, because LR banners, you just can get shafted, you're not gonna get, you're just gonna be pulling the same units over and over and over again. Like I said previously, you can pull the same units over and over and over again. You can be pulling SDR Weeks and Topo, you can be pulling like, um, I don't know, Nimba, but, um, the fat one, not the new joke, because that's freaking tech, so yeah. Um, Dispo, Topo, again, you can point always do at the same exact time, so I kind of say do be careful, because in the long run, let's turn it up a little bit more, um, in the long run, these yellow banners are really not worth it, in my opinion. I'd probably say skip them, skip them, skip them as much as you can, because the yellow coins, they are worth it to get your favorite LR, but that's the only reason why they're there, because otherwise, i say probably say, like, you know, for the, for the um, 60th anniversary, you already know, let's confirm between the 66 summon banner, like we have for the 5th anniversary, where we get 55 units, we get, um, tickets, you know, from part one, part two, part three, we'll get tickets um, through all those parts. The last part will get the last ticket, and you can summon and get a, like a big like a LR at the end, and it is guaranteed. So, yeah, there's gonna be a stone version of it, like it was last year. So, that, but again, that department for the anniversary for JP is pretty simple. And for global, it will be in July. What's more, so yeah, like I said, for LR bears, I'd probably say if you really want to specifically hunt LRs, I'll probably say. Double, double rate leaders are worth it, but they have blue points. They're only for type leaders and elder Kai, so unless you really want the type leaders like me, um, I'll probably say those banners are more worth it as a more in the long run. Oh my god, I'll turn that off. Give me a second. Hey, come in here. Come. There you go. Pillow. Um, but yeah, like I said though, in the long run though, um, like I said previously, um, elder banners and stuff like that, I say, um, probably, um, I say, more, <laughs> my hair is just being crazy today. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to long run. These LR bears aren't really worth it. You're going to summon a lot of these things and call it a day. Um, like, yeah, all the yellow coins can be worth it in the long run, but again, the units on the banners are really bad. For the banner, X is really good because Topo, both Topos are good. Uh, Weeks is good. Bottom again is pretty solid. Frost is uh, kind of made at this point. Uh, Topo just, just got the easy ace. But again, for, like I said, you can pull all these guys in the future anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Again, you can pull all these guys in the future, so it doesn't really matter who cares. Plus again, like I said, LR banners are more worth it in the longer run. Not these ones, but tickets and stuff like that, like double rates banners are gonna be more worth it. Cause you can pull a lot of LRs then, cause the rates and stuff like that are switched. Um, but yeah, like I said, the rates and stuff like that are kind of mainly totally switched. 
in my opinion. So yeah, I mean, not in my opinion, but in general. So yeah, plus those bears and ticket bears are more worth it because the tickets you don't got white stones and for red, blue, red, you know, blue coin bears and stuff like that, like double rates banners or you know even type bears, which don't really count because they come back every other, they come back every once every year. So yeah. Um, like I said, New Year's Bears are still up, so you can probably send them on that. I probably did that a little bit in the fourth hit. Um, this is Freezer Banner from Global. That one has really good value on it, because I say good value bears like this. For example, Kepla, Captain Blue Goku, Cooler. You want a longer one, run um, for the game and stuff like that. These units are actually going to be really good. They're going to age really well. Um, besides Captain Blue Goku, he's actually aged really well, honestly. Just his, um, really, really um, overrated, I want to say. Underrated? Overrated-ish? I don't know. Um, so yeah, again, like this is like really good value right here because you have a lot of games that don't come back as often. So that's Inner Golden Freezer, the Int one, and of course the Tech, um, Tech, um, Transforming Freezer, um, they've been back a lot. But, uh, um, so Namek, Spir uh, Namek, um, Super Saiyan, uh, Namek Super Saiyan Goku, cooler. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Kepler, again, Global the good change for Gogeta because, uh, again, Kepler just came back, I think, once on the Sigma banner. I guess that counted that she came back from here. So yeah, from Global the good, I highly change it up. Um, for this one. This is Turtles banner, like I said, same problem with legendary banners. Good get yellow coins, good get your favorite LR. The world banner suck. Don't do it. You're gonna pull like 5,000 other units. Um, this will probably be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's banner. That's a really good high value. Like, I would go home to Goten. If you player don't have them, I don't really have them at all yet because I don't really have someone on their banner. Because they these LRs like him and the STR, like, you know, physical Kaka, Blue Goku, Evolution, Blue Vegeta. They're not really tied to every banner though. Cool, uh, Pickle, Silk Solid, um, Nova. Again, you can put all these guys in the future anyway though. So yeah, I mean, all these dope fictions, but you can put him like, you know, all the random ticket or someone or whatever. But it's, you know, overall, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is worth it though. Um, I think this was the Bojack Banner. This one's actually pretty solid. I got some really good units. Ultimate Gohan, um, Bardock on um, 13. Then, Free Double Race Banner is actually really worth it, but for Global, I'd probably say skip them because you know, the anniversary and stuff like that's going to be coming up soon. So, yeah. So, we're going to go today again. Um, pretty solid. Jiren's actually really good. Uh, really, really good. Um, did I? Okay, that was my thing. So, um, okay, that was really weird. So, yeah. Gonna go into here, like I said. Um, got a ramble. We'll talk about everything. So, yeah. Um, see you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. Oh, cool. Jump again, though. Stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you. What do you guys think about LL Jiren? Do you like this banner? Do you hit him hitting, you know, hitting number one? Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Talked about, talked long enough. Gonna get into here. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Okay, no. So.